Universidad Politécnica Metropolitana de Hidalgo. Licenciatura en Comercio Internacional y Aduanas. Base de datos. Hi, now we are going to talk about how to import data from other sources. So the first thing you should know is that there are two types of files. We have binary files and we have text files. Each file has an extension. By this ex extension, a computer can know if a file is a picture, a PDF, an Excel file, a access file, and so on. And there is a way to know the extension of a file. If you go to the command line console, you will be able to see all the extensions because in some cases, Windows hide it. It could be with Control V, then Intro. <clears throat> there, <clears throat> you can press the do command and here we can see all the files with their extensions. Now, when you open a binary file with notebook, you will see something weird. For instance, in this case, I will be opening a GPF file, and what I see is this. It is because it is a binary file. If I open it, I can see the picture as well. The same happens with PDF files. And this is what we see. But if we open the file, we can see it as well. And when you open a text file, it looks different. Let's try to open an XM file. And as you can see, everything here is text. It has an structure, but finally it is text. That happens with text files. We can open it and we can see the content as well. Now, information comes in different formats. Usually, it comes in a text format. So you can see something like this, or maybe you can see something like this. This is a text file with some info. And let me show you another example. This is a JSON file 
with text, but in another format. Now, in Excel, we can import data from these other sources. I will be show, showing you how to import data from different sources in Excel 2010 and 2016. First, let's see CSV files. CSV files look like this. So, as you can see, we have some headers and the values All CSV files are formed like this. And we can import it into Excel. We just have to go to Data and import from text. And this is the CSV file. Now, Excel will be asking about how to import this data. It will be delimited in the next form we can set which will be the delimiter and in this case it is a comma and we can see which are the fields. Then click next and we can set the behavior of each field in this case nombre apellido paterno materno y materia are text columns so we can see it, set it as text Fecha nacimiento will be a day, and the format is year, month, and day. So we choose that format, year, month, day. Calificación is a number, so we are going to preserve it as general. Then we have to set the cell where we will have the data. And it is done. We got it easily, right? Now, let's see how to import from CSV files into Excel 2016. We also have to go to the data tab, then click in the command from text CSV. Then we have to choose the file, and this is the CSV file. We have to import it. Then Excel show you how fields will be looking like. And then we just have to click in load. And we got it. We got a table. We can set the table name as a defined name. And we can work with the data that we imported. Now, let's see how to import data from a txt file. In this case, this txt file looks like this. We have 
all the columns, but we don't have a delimiter. But we know that all the fields start in the same number of characters. And we will be importing based on that. Let's see how to do it in Excel 2010. We have to import from text. This is the file. Then this will be from a specific width. Next. And the first column will be from zero. And we have the next columns here. We have all the columns. Then click next. We have to set if it will be a text. By the same way we did it previously. Fecha de nacimiento will be a day with the format year, month, day. This is a text. And calificación will be a number. So it will be preserved as general. And we say it will be inserted here. And it is done. We got all the columns. Now let's see how to do it in Excel 2016. We go to the data tab from text CSV. Choose the file to import. And it almost look well. First, we have the name, apellido paterno and materno, fecha nacimiento, and materia calificación. But this is wrong because it has the name of the subject and the grade. So we have to set a new division for this field. If we open the file, we can see that grade starts on call 279. So we have to set that. The next division will be in 279. And it is done, but the C is included in the previous field. So it will be starting on 278. And it is done. We are going to load data, but look what happened in Excel 2016. If you see the file, there are spaces. And in Excel 2016, these spaces are preserved for all the fields, except for fecha de nacimiento and calificación. So we have to remove these spaces. In order to do it, we are going to import from text CSV. We have to set the length of the last 
for the last fiddle. Then we have to transform data. It will be opening the Power Query Editor. And here, for the text columns, we will need to transform data. In this case, we are going to apply the, a format. We are going to choose the trim function. Trim function removes spaces at the beginning or at the ending of a text. And that's all that we have to do. Now we go to home, close and low, and we got it. All the spaces were removed. Take care about that. If you can see, we have names of people, their birthday, and also we have some subjects that they studied and the grade that they got. Now we are going to import data from Access. In Excel 2016, we just have to go to Get Data from Database and choose from, micro, from Microsoft Access Database. We choose the, our database. And Excel will be asking from where are we going to take data? In this case, we are going to take data from Datos. Then click in Load. And it is done. If we want, we can change some data formats as if we were typing all the data. In Excel 2010, we can do it almost by the same way. We go to the Data tab, then from Access, we have to choose the database and open. Then Excel will be asking from where are we going to import the data. We choose Datos. Excel asks for the cell where we are going to import this data. And we got it. In some other cases, we can get data from XM files. Usually, when we got data from internet, we can got it by this way. In a specific, when data doesn't come from public services. We have three XM files. Let me show you what an XM file is. I will be opening the first XM file. The second XM file. and the last XM file.
So exempt files are structured by tags. We have personas tag. This is an opening tag and it closes here. The same tag name, but with a backslash. A tag can have more tags inside. In this case, we have the tag personas. Inside, we have persona, persona, persona. And in each persona, we can have nombre and its value. We have the same for nombre, a paterno, a materno, fecha nacimiento. And we have another tag for subjects. It, it has subject and each subject has the subject name and it's gray. You just have to learn that an XM file has tags and values inside. But you don't have to learn the structure because it can, can change. In the second XM file, as an XM file, we have tags. But now, for instance, for nombre, we don't have a value inside the tag. We have the value as an attribute value. Take care of this difference. Also, you don't have to learn the structure. You just have to understand how XM files save information. So, all the data is inside attribute values and in the last case we have another xm file but the data about each persona is saved as attributes we have apellido materno, paterno, fecha de nacimiento, and nombre. And for the subjects, we continue having tags. So each subject has attributes, calificación, and materia. Now, let's see how to import it. Let's work with the first XM file. First, since it comes from an XM file, we are going to import from other sources, then import from XML. We have to look for the file. It will be 01. Click in OK. Where are we going to import the data? Then OK. And we got all the data well formed. For the second file, we are going to do the same. If you remember, the info in the second XM file comes in a different way. So, since the XM file is formed in a different way, 
we got different headers. This is the second XM file, and this is the first one. But there is no issues because we can change the headers. This will be name. A paterno, a materno, fecha nacimiento, materia, and calificación. And it is done. Now let's see how to import data from the third XM file. Look for the file. And it is here. If you remember, in the third XM file, we had some values as attributes and some values inside tags. So the data file is imported like this. We can change the columns. And it is done. Now let's see how to do it in Excel 2016. We go to the data tab, get data from file. And we are going to get it from XML. Now we are going to import the first one. We have to choose the items to import, but look at this. We have some rows with the name of the people. And in subjects, we have a table. If we want to import this table, as in Excel 2010, we have to transform data. Remember, it opens the Power Query Editor, and here we have to load the table for materias. Just by clicking on it, select the columns, materia, then we have to expand twice in order to get subject and grade. And it is done. Now we can close and load. And we got all the info. Now for the second XM file. We have to do almost the same, but in this case, everything looks like a table. If you remember, the structure of this XM file is different in a little bit. But finally, we have to go to transform data. And we have to expand the columns. It will be taking the attribute value. 
the same for a paterno, a materno, fecha de nacimiento, and materias. Remember that materia should be expand twice. And it is done. We have values in all columns. Also, we have to transform this column into date. We can do it by choosing the right data data type, it is day, and the same for the grade, which is decimal number. Others are text. Then close and load, and we got it. Now let's see how to import the third XM file. We are going to import from Persona. Materias is a table. And we got other values directly. So we have to transform that data we have to expand materials but materials will be at the end. So so we can drop to the end of the table. Name should be at the beginning, then a paterno, then a materno, then fecha de nacimiento. And we are going to expand materias and materia. Then Click close and load. And we got it. All the people and their subjects with grades. Now Let's see another format. We are going to work with JSON format. So let me open the notebook in order to see how does it look. And let's compare it with an XM file. JSON is another common format that we can find saving information. If you remember, we have personas. Inside, there is persona. Then we have nombre, a paterno, a materno, fecha de nacimiento. In JSON formats, we have almost the same. 
Here we have a materno, a paterno, fecha nacimiento, and materias. And in the same way that working with XM files, you don't have to learn the structure, but you have to understand how the information is formed in this type of files. Now let's import it. We cannot import it in Excel. 2010. It doesn't have a tool for that. We may can find something surfing in the internet as a complement for Excel 2010, but with the default version, we can't do it. But we can, we are able to do it in Excel 2016. We just have to click on Get Data from File from JSON. And it is almost the same that we did with an XM file. At the beginning, it looks like a list of records. In order to expand it, we are going to do click in the command to table. And, and we have to expand it. We have the name, a paterno, a materno, fecha, de nacim fecha nacimiento, which should be transformed into day. And we have subjects as list. We have to expand it to new rows. And it comes like a record. And we got it. Then click in close and load. And we have the data imported as well. Once we imported all the data that we need, we can work with this data by the same way as we were working before this class. So we can apply functions, formulas, we can create pivot tables, and insert graphics if we want. So now we can import data from different sources. And it is important to know because in some cases you may have to work with this type of files. 